Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking the Lego Ninjago movie and the huge Ninjago city set which was just revealed. The giveaway is back. Simply comment and subscribe and you can win a prize. And here you have it folks, the Ninjago City direct to consumer set. This set has 4,867 pieces and includes 16 minifigures and will retail for $299.99 starting on September 1st. Ninjago City is a city that's really grown over time and the designers took all the key elements of the city and slammed them together to create this unbelievable model. The designers tried to capture the history of Ninjago City, with the older areas starting at the bottom as it gets more modern towards the top. It's a really vibrant, colorful area, and it combines so many wonderful building techniques with the fun and flair that only Ninjago City has. Starting with the top section, we have this amazing roof design with this larger tower towards the back to give it the impression that it's behind all these different buildings. And it's up here that we can see the radio tower. On the far left of the model, we have two different aquatic builds, including the large puffer fish, as well as this really interesting squid design. On the right hand side, we have Lloyd Garmadon and Misako's apartment. We can see here the opening window and in the attic space, you'll be able to store the green ninja suit. On the rooftop, we also have a sushi restaurant, which is really great because there's a rotating sushi conveyor belt. Simply turn on that orange dial and watch them go around. And on the left side, there's even more seating. The second level is jam-packed with different kinds of businesses. At the very center, we've got a fashion store with two mannequins in the window. The one on the right even uses that new scarf accessory. The store itself is jam-packed with all sorts of accessories, including lots of fun hats. I especially love the yellow knight's helmet with the birthday hat. To the right of the store, we have this amazing cherry blossom tree just coming out of the building. Beneath the shop, we've got this great walkway with tons of signs, including a lot of hidden Easter eggs. Here we can see a sign with an X on it, which is actually the logo from Lego Island Extreme Stunts. On the right, we can see this sign with RR on it. And this is actually the same logo for Rocket Racer from Lego Racers. To the left of that, we can see this blue sign featuring coded writing that actually stands for Borg Industries, which is a reference from the Lego Ninjago TV show. At the very center of the walkway, we have this amazing seafood restaurant. It features this wonderful crab design at the front with hanging lanterns and details on the right and left that remind me of raw fish eggs. On the inside of the crab restaurant, we have a crab grilling function, which allows you to flip over the grill using that dial on the left. Outside of the restaurant on the left hand side, we have this section which features movie posters. This set will feature four interchangeable posters and we can see a second one poking out on the left saying, tired of walking? But the main poster on display here is for Shadow of Ronin, which you may recognize as a video game that came out for the Nintendo DS. And the poster features this character from the show, Ronin, front and center. It is interesting to note that this actually has a second reference in the background. Here we can see the Split Mountain, which we can see here in this art for LEGO Exoforce. The Exoforce line was pretty fun and certainly inspired this movie and maybe Ninjago as a whole. The right hand side of this level features an ATM and a comic shop. The ATM has a simple design, but it actually can dispense up to 13 bills. The comic shop features a brick built sign with the word comics. Inside there are shelves for different action figures as well as comics. One that we can see through the window actually has a Chima reference on it. And this store will feature Ninjago trading cards. The lower level is the more traditional part of Ninjago City. On the left hand side we can see this bridge section featuring a tunnel underneath. And the tunnel's big enough to fit the included boat, which has a simple nice design. I really like all the foliage as well as the clear pieces to create the water. And if you look very carefully, you can see two paint palettes in green to create lily pads. The center section features this really cool post design, and that yellow sign on the wall actually translates to Visit Bricksburg, which is the town from the Lego movie. So it sounds like there's free passage between the different realms now. On the right hand side, there's an additional walkway, and we can see there's some interesting elements. First up, I love the detail here with the piece that's normally used on Lego trains. And further right, we get this amazing design of a geisha. And it certainly reminds me of the geishas that we saw during the Tournament of Elements from the TV show. Of course, there are interiors to this building, and one of them features this little table with a tea set. I'm digging the tiger tapestry on the left, 
and that interesting reuse of a hairpiece for a plant on the right. Also here we have Sweep the Maintenance Robot Service Station with lots of different tools. From the back of the building, we also have a few other things I wanted to point out. The major thing you'll notice is the elevator section, which can lift one minifigure up and down to explore all the different levels. At the very bottom, we see this canal section, and we can see the buildings at the back, which feature a really interesting roof design featuring wrench elements. There are 16 minifigures included, so let's get started. Here we can see Kai in his civilian outfit, which is a really fun casual design. But the best part about him for me is that hilarious hair. Next up, we've got Lloyd Garmadon in his civilian look, which is exactly like the one that we saw in the Ninjago City Chase set, though it may have a unique face. For Lloyd, we also get the green ninja outfit, which you can change him into. Next up, we've got the new version of Misako in her casual outfit. This character definitely has a cute design, and I'm loving that new hairpiece. And here in this shot, we can see those red chopsticks that poke out the back. The only other ninja in this set is Jay, and I love his overall design. This set also includes so many great civilian characters. Here we can see Jamanakai Villager. He has a really great torso print, and I love the way he continues onto the legs. There's even a little fish detail around the waist. Next up, we've got Sally, which has a nice hairpiece and a pretty simple torso print. Next, we've got Ivy Walker. She has an amazing traditional torso piece, and I love the printing on the legs. Her last name is Walker, just like Jay, so I'm thinking there's a family connection. Next up, we have Severin Black. The torso design is just amazing, and you can see the crab detail poking out. Next up, we have a character called Mother Doomsday. This one features a really nice printing on the legs, but the torso design may feature a logo that you recognize, and this is for Galador. Galador was a TV show created by LEGO with an accompanying toy line. Neither the show nor the toy line, though, did too well. But getting it as a reference for the figure is just amazing. Next up, we've got Tommy, and his design features the green ninja, which looks just like he did in the show. It's probably pretty safe to assume this is also a reference to the Green Ninja featured in the Lego Movie. He even came in one set, though the Lego Ninjago Movie wasn't even a thing at the time. Next up, we've got the appropriately named Guy. The torso design is bright and pink and features this fish pattern, which looks pretty nice. Next, we have Juno, and I believe we've gotten this torso before, but it's still a nice inclusion in the set. Next, we have Conrad with another nice and simple torso, and I like the way they mounted the hat on the back. Next, we have Officer Noonan, and she features that nice black hat, as well as a torso that may be pretty familiar. Again, this is another Lego movie reference featuring the same design as the super secret police from that movie. And finally, we have the Shark Army Gunner, which is by far the more simpler design for a Shark Army character, but the torso and leg printing is really nice. Also included, we have Sweep the Maintenance Robot, and it has a simple design with that brand new hat piece, which looks really great. The designers really spent a ton of time getting all the details right and planning out the set. Here we can see a few of their designs, and it really shows their thought process and how they were very deliberate in combining all the most important details to create this crazy amazing model. I'm personally so excited about this set, and I love all the details, all the minifigures, and especially all those easter eggs. This set is certainly expensive, but it actually features more pieces than the $500 Death Star, so I might have to make sure to pick this one up. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What was your favorite detail of the set? And will you be picking it up? And don't forget, your comment enters you for the giveaway. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to learn all about the first 10 collectible minifigures. And don't forget to subscribe.